Thank you so much, Sheriff Maddox, here at the Gap County Sheriff's Office. And just want to give a little um, update as to what took place today, approximately um, a little after 1 p.m. We had a subject enter the Big Bear Grocery Store, which is in the parking lot of South DeKalb Mall, um, Candler Road. Um, there was some confrontation, an argument, um, not for sure exactly what, in reference to the wearing of a mask, at which time the subject uh, pulled out a weapon and shot the cashier at the location. The um, individual is deceased, and the uh, the officer, we had an off-duty officer, a 30-year veteran off-duty officer that retired from the DeKalb County Police Department, a reservist now with the DeKalb County Sheriff's Office working, in turn retrieved his weapon, well, pulled his weapon and started firing at the subject. That officer was struck twice, transported to Atlanta Medical where he is in stable condition. And the suspect was struck uh, a couple of times, has been transported to Gray Memorial Hospital at this time. Um, the Cab County Police Department responded and was investigating along with the GBI as of right now, and that is what the information that we have thus far. Do we have any questions? So the, the reserve that the going to be able to the name uh, yeah. Yes, we will be able to um, get that name. Once we get his name, we'll be able to give it to you. Um, once we get all that information, yes, sir. I can, I'm sorry, I cannot. His photo, photograph. Yes. And to be clear, the suspect was wounded. He is at a hospital right now. Yes, the, su the suspect in this in this shooting had uh, was shot by the on duty officer at that time. In because the, the suspect in your investigation shows shot a woman. Yes, the suspect in turn shot the cashier that was working. And from what you've been able to tell so far, do you have sort of a, can you walk us through the sequence of events that led up to this shot? Well, I really don't have all that information as of right now. We're still waiting on the um, final investigation, GBI, as well as the Cab County Police investigators are still on the scene and um, ascertaining the information in order to get that to us. Um, as we get more, we'll be able to give it to you once we get it, but that is all we have as of right now. The only thing we can tell you right now, he is in stable condition. Can you tell us anything about the victim? Has their family been notified of how the coroner's situation? Um, right now, once again, that is all the information that we have. Again, this is just preliminary until GBI, as well as the Cab County Police Department investigators, get back with us to give us more to be able to give to you all. Can you give us any information of any possible relationship between the suspect and the Unknown, and that is unknown at this time as well. What is the nature of the argument that has that been referenced in the past? Well, what can you tell us about it? The only thing that has been given, us to us, given to us is that it was over a mask. Don't know if they were wearing it or not wearing it, but, tell them, but we don't know at this time. Sheriff, you've been sheriff in law enforcement for many years. Um, is something that everybody worries about every day about what we might encounter out there. What do you think of this whole thing? The inside of well, first of all, let me just say we just want to, you know, um, make sure that everybody is safe. That is our number one priority here at the Gab County Sheriff's Office. And we understand that with the wearing of the mask and not wearing the mask. People have their own opinion about it, but it is very sensitive at this time. But we still want to make sure that we are, that people know that we are here to make sure that they are safe as they go about their day-to-day -day duties um, throughout, you know, daily activities. Can you tell us, uh, can you establish that? The suspect is the one that you shot the deputy after the deputy fired at him. Is that your understanding of what you've done? From what has come up, uh, according to the investigation thus far, what has been given to us, yes, sir. And so what, he, he saw that he was opening fire, what, what can you tell us? The only thing I can tell you, uh, once again at this time, is that once the officer, um, the shooting took place, the officer pulled his weapon at which time um, started firing back at the suspect, striking the suspect. Was it just, was it sort of a customer? 
Well, there were several, there were several individuals inside the store at this time, and once again, they're still under um, doing an investigation at this time. And to be clear, the woman who was killed was an employee of the store, was she a cashier? As of right now, was a cashier at the store. And so, as far as you know, this obviously happened in the checkout lane then? From, as the same thing as what was given to me, that's all that we have right now, yes sir. Do you know what the policy is with that particular store? Will customers have to wear a mask or is it? I do not know of that, but the policy, if they have that um, in place, as we know, we're still following, you know, some of the CDC guidelines, so um, it will be up to that store owner to decide, you know, if it's meant to make it mandatory or not mandatory, but we do not know of the policy at this time with the store, no. I know you're not, you can't identify the deputy just yet, but what can you tell us about, you know, you said you could clearly do better for the sheriff's office. Tell us about him and his character and um, uh, his, his response in this instance. He's very responsible. As you can tell, he's a 30-year veteran, so he has surely served his time, and we just want to make sure um, and let everybody know we're, we're uh, most of all pleased that he is okay, and that's that's number one and first and foremost. Um, but he is a stand-up, professional individual, and um, he, st he loves what he does. As you see, he's continuing to do what he does to make sure that everybody is safe once again as they go in and out of that store. So he must have been fairly close to where this all unfolded. Well, that's part of his training. Thirty-year veteran, um, he has it's several years up under his belt, and he has training that has taken uh, several training tactics and uh, techniques that he's probably had, I'm sure, over his thirty years uh, span as a law enforcement officer. And from what you've been able to tell so far, the suspect fired several shots, including the shot that killed the cashier. As of as of right now. Some of the witnesses said he was kind of shooting at random, kind of wild. I have not gotten I have not gotten that information as of yet. Once again, as we get that information, as we get more detailed in it from DVI or the Cab County Police Investigators, we will be able to be more detailed and give you that information. So my question is basically as far as the follow-up. But basically, you think that this is going to show that he was able to intervene in such a way to prevent more people from being hurt, or what can you tell us so far? Well, I will, I will say he responded. And he responded um, very well to possibly keep other individuals from being hurt. And once again, that is what he's trained to do. That's part of his 30-year career in law enforcement. All of us here, standing here, are trained to be able to intervene and respond. At the risk of his own life. Yes. This is what we do every day. Did the victim die on scene and where was she shot? Um, I do not have that information as to... Um, where she was pronounced or even where she was shot at this time. What charges is the suspect going to be charged with? Well, it, it all, it, um, right now, well, we're looking at, I'm sure it's probably going to be the investigator's murder, you, you know. So, um, once again, we just want to be, be thankful that everybody thus far, and we want to send condolences to the family of the deceased in reference to this. Um, but we want to make sure that the public know to be safe out there, to be safe and know that we are here to support them and make sure that they are safe and that they are okay. And just to be clear, when I heard you talking about this, is, is the Sheriff's Office, that's the lead investigative agency on this case? Is that right? No, we have the GBI that's handling the officer involved shooting and with the suspect shooting the victim, uh, the Cab County Police Department investigator will be handling that investigation. Sheriff, sure, you talked about training. Can you talk about the more difficulty, how hard it is for the face of situations of like fire and gun? Well, it's about being vigilant, and that's what we're trained from day one as officers, uh, walking through the door as, as law enforcement officers, to be vigilant. And what I can do is I have two outstanding individuals, Chief Aikies as well as Chief Evans right here, that will be happy to speak more on that if you'd like. Hi, I'm Chief Evans, I'm Chief of Administration. Chief, what would you have Since we are not doing the investigation, the investigation has been done by conducted by the Cab County Police Department as well as the GBI. Can you speak to the training of that officer? Yeah. Most definitely. Uh, 
the officer, the deputy, uh, has gone through several years of training. Like I said, he has 30 years of training behind him uh, from the day from day one in the academy uh, at the Cap County Police Department. They go through a lot of different training, a lot of different skills, uh, a lot of different situations, and shoot, don't shoot situations, as well as taking care of, making sure we take care of the public. Can you guys explain why the GBI is involved? Yes, it does. Whenever an officer-involved shooting takes place, it is on the sheriff or that chief of police to call out the GBI. Is that their their option if they want to? And our sheriff, Sheriff Maddox, has elected to have the GBI come in and do a basically a investigation on it, make sure we are being transparent. Officer was wearing it, it's a uh, protective vest. Yes. And so that likely saved his life. Yes, it did. 